Good morning, everybody. Irish Guy JG with you here. I'll put the camera back a little bit further so you can see. I am still at home. I haven't gotten on the bike and gone to my parents yet. But you guys, I just cannot help but give you guys a message of hope. And I was reading on in my daily bread, and I was reading in Isaiah, and he will not grow tired or weary. Paul the Apostle of Christ wrote, When I am weak, then I am strong in 2 Corinthians 12.10. Paul was speaking of spiritual strength, but he knew that God was power was made perfect in weakness, says in verse 9. As the prophet Isaiah declared, the Lord gives strength to the weary, increase the power of the weak in Isaiah 40, 29. What was the path to such strength, you think? Abiding in Jesus. Apart from me, you can do nothing, he said in John 15, 15. So if the strongest man in the world can't get through one day without the power of Jesus Christ, where does that leave us? To find out, we can release our dependence and submit to God and ask Him for, for strength and to prevail when we know we're going up against hardship. Are we asking God to, to help us prevail or are we trying to depend on ourselves? Are we depending on the power of Jesus Christ to see us through the glory that we're, that we're, we're given by the majesty of the gift of absolutely eternal eternal salvation in heaven and if you guys don't get that then you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ and if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ then you're lacking something in your life and I was lacking for something for so long and I tried to fill that void uh, 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 that lack with drugs with alcohol with with stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing now sorry there's a lot of traffic uh, but you know God bless you guys for staying the course and trying because if you're watching this message right now, you have some interest in finding out what God's doing out in the world and what he's doing in people's lives and what he's doing in my life right now is showing me the beauty uh, 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 by staying sober and the beauty of, of being dependent on him. Being dependent on him, Christ will carry us through. I just love you guys so much. I just want to minister to you guys all day, every day. If I could, I would, but I can't, so I, so I shouldn't. I got to go make some money. Uh, um, not at my parents' house, obviously, but I got to go make money during the week, so I got to do my, my day job. But you guys, I'm telling you, although I do like what I'm doing now, and I, I love in construction, and I love that kind of field, and I'm, I'm, I fit right in, and I'm, I'm, I'm in. But there's a greater calling. God's calling me to greater things, and I just got to simply obey. And I'm just giddy. I'm just excited to find out what it is and what he's going to do, because that's the excitement when you get when you live in sobriety and when you live in the in the world and you have a like a light you have a beacon and you're shining it and that that beacon is jesus some people see the light some people don't but we we never uh nevertheless we still have to shine it furthermore and evermore amen we have to shine our light uh for christ and and let people know that there is hope and encouragement inspiration uh and 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 what a beautiful day today so i'm gonna get on the motorcycle go spend some time with my my mom and my dad help them out they've been roofing these roofs for a month so we need to get it done and i want to get out there and help them so i hope to see my brother out there too tomorrow maybe uh but later today possibly so if you're out there uh get out to my mom and dad's and that's a roof all right love you guys